Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. All right, Little Miss wants her nails painted. What colors did you pick? Show everybody. There's and orange. Very nice. For Halloween, that's for the Tootsies. And also this pink color that I got, Mommy usually paints on her toes and she did it a different color. Yeah, that is my favorite color pink. My favorite color nail polish pink. Perfect, so that's gonna go on your fingers. It's gonna match your dress and look so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Chelsea and Mommy are playing with Lego. You look beautiful today. You're like all dressed up, no place to go, huh? She's got her jewelry on, a beautiful dress, nails are painted, all decked out, huh? Oh, my favorite. Tootsies look fabulous. <laughs> All dressed up to play with Legos, huh? So Chelsea was trying to put her clothes away. And she says, Eddie's asleep on my bed and he's so cute. But she tries to come in here to put her stuff away. And he started growling because he's like, don't mess with me. I'm sleeping. What are you doing on your sister's bed? You, sir, are a stinky, dirty little dog. And you're not supposed to be up there. You know what? I'm going to let him stay because I think he might be sick. Um, <laughs> earlier, okay, I went downstairs. We went downstairs to have lunch. And he was standing by the back door. And so, you know, I was going to let him out. And he threw up all over the floor, like by the back door. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't and then I was like, I'm not, I'm not hungry for lunch now. Thanks. <laughs> but he... <laughs> And then a little bit later, he like made the sound like he was going to throw get sick again. and But he didn't. I thought he did, but he didn't. So I think once in a blue moon, Eddie will get kind of like a, st a t upset tummy. Whether he eats something out in the yard. You know, maybe he caught a lizard or a frog or something. We never know. But usually after just like a few days, he gets better. Or a worm. Or a worm. Who knows? So I think we'll just let him lay there and rest, even though I don't want him on your bed because he is stinky. He needs a bath, like major bad. But I think we'll leave him be. Chelsea lined up her Shopkins. Yep, and I still have more, but I can't. I don't have any more space. Your cows look like they're kissing. <laughs> so cute. No, just playing there. More Shopkins on the floor. They're what? They're just. Snuggling They're oh, snuggling together. They're snuggling together. I want to get those Shopkins on the floor, but I can't because I need oh, to go for Mommy straightened up Chelsea's stuffed animals. I thought about moving them. Um, I'd like to hang up those little Chinese lantern things above Chelsea's bed, like up here or something. I just don't know how to hang them. And then I thought about I moving... I thought about moving her stuffed animals over in that corner just Poor so they're kind of out of the way. Poor Eddie. And then we're always right here playing with her dolls. So this is where all her doll stuff I'm is. Here today. Well, he just doesn't want to be messed with. He'll growl. Like, if he doesn't want you to mess with him, he'll growl. And that's how you know to leave him alone, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be able to say it again? I don't know. <laughs> we got the giggles. Alex just said the funniest thing I'd never heard before. And now we can't stop laughing. <laughs> Do you know what it was, Chelsea? Can you say it? That would be a no. <laughs> we, we all got the giggles and we can't stop laughing. What are you even trying to do? I'm trying to do the album. <laughs> Come on, Alex, you gotta do it. <laughs> how much, how much would Robert Lowe, no, Rob from Lowe's, if no, Robert no, Lowe could have Robert Lowe's? How much Lowe's? <laughs> she can't. How much Lowe's could Robert Lowe? <laughs> Wait a minute, what is a Lowe's? Wait, hold on. No. How much Lowe's could Robert Lowe rob from Lowe's and Robert Lowe? <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute.
a minute. What is a Lowe's to Rob? Not the store. Yeah, the store. Right, but you're saying how much Lowe's could Robert Lowe's rob? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. There's a guy called Robert Lowe. No, I know that, but you're saying he's robbing... <laughs> he's robbing Lowe's. Lowe's from Lowe's, so what's no, a Lowe's? No, he's robbing Lowe's. Okay. How, how, how much, how much could Lob, Robert... <laughs> <laughs> how much could Robert Lowe much, rob from rob Lowe's? How much could Robert Lowe's <laughs> If, if Ro Robert Lowe could rob a Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say it, Chelsea? If you're Robert, Robert. If you're um, Robert, Robert. You sound, you sound like a frog. It. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> I can't even do it. Oh, are you feeling better? I think so, because he was running around playing a little bit ago. Push his face smushed into that pillow. Squished into the squishable, the hot dog. Look at those eyes. And then there's the floppy desk under the booty. Eyes. Look at the puppy dog eyes. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Teresa Vakar, and the question is: If you had to ask one thing to your future self, what would the question be, and why? Whew. I'd want to know if I'm married and have kids, and what their names are. Okay. That's it. That's it? Yep. All right. What? Do the Lions ever win a Super Bowl? Really? Because <laughs> at least that way I would know just to um, stop watching. Isn't that kind of a wasted, wasted question? Yeah, I guess I should know that one already. Uh, okay. I can't think of anything serious. Like, I don't want to know the future. Element of surprise. And I'd still surprise. probably end up watching them on Sundays even though I knew. Knew, you, knew they yeah. were never going to win. Yeah, there's kind of that whole like element of surprise that like, do I really want to know or not? Because <laughs> yeah, if you find out and it turns out to be bad, then the next segment of years are just because I already know what's going to happen. Yeah. And then even if it's good, then you're like, you know, when you have something come up and you're always anxious for it to get here. Yeah, I guess. Ugh, it's tough. It's. Kind of like if you could see the future, would you want to? Well, I don't know. I want to be kind of surprised. Um, I guess I'd want to know, like, maybe how many grandkids I was going to have or something None like that. <laughs> you just said that you would ask kidding. yourself if you were going to have kids. No, how, I was what kinda... are my cats' names? Cats. Shush. <laughs> she teases me all the time. She's like, I'm going to grow up and just have cats. So I'm like, oh, no one grew up in this. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd like to know... Chelsea like really plays with her baby dolls a lot, so I think she'll probably oh, have. She, she, yeah, that makes old. sense. That yeah, makes sense, right? Years old. You know what she said to me the other day? She's like, "Mommy, when I grow up and I have a baby, will you help me like take care of my baby?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure. If you want my help, I'll help you." It was really sweet. She was like serious, like, "Mommy, it's like really hard to take care of a baby. I'm gonna need your help." <laughs> Like, okay, if you want my help, I will help you. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to know how many grandbabies I'm going to have, I guess. So we want to know from you guys. If you had to ask one thing to your future self, what would the question be and why? Tell us in the comments below.